Today's Gospel story is a turning point in Mark's Gospel. It's the turning point in the earthly ministry of Jesus, and soon he will face his crucifixion. Jesus and the disciples are on the border between pagan and Jewish territory, known today as the Golan Heights. There are identity checks here, and Jesus here is giving an identity check to his followers when he says, who do you say that I am? That question really got me thinking. If I were to ask any of you, what do you think of David Attenborough, for example, I would learn a lot more about you in your response than perhaps what you really thought of him. I would discover whether or not you loved the natural world, maybe your favourite animal or species, where you stood on climate change and perhaps so also your lifestyle choices affecting the planet, such as shopping, flying, travel choices and food consumption. Questions of identity tell us more about the respondent than about the subject whom they are talking. And in this reading, we learn more about Peter's hopes and expectations than we do about Jesus. For in answer to Peter's response, Jesus says, do not tell anyone about this. Who do you say that I am, Jesus said. Some said John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. But Peter got it. You are the Messiah. Jesus later goes on to explain the costliness of this identity. He says, if anyone wants to become my follower, let them deny themselves and take up their cross. It's a self-sacrificial life. It's a calling to servanthood. With the instruction to take up our cross and follow him, Jesus is calling us to imitate him, to be obedient to him, and it will demand our all. Jesus' invitation to the crowd in the Gospel reading was general and not exclusive, reminding us that in Christ all are equal. And the way we respond to that call also reveals something of our identity and Christ's identity to others. Some people in our society have what I would call a costly identity. And this is elegantly written about in a book written by the priest, Jarrell Robinson Brown. And it's entitled Black, Gay, British, Christian, Queer. Jarrell talks about a famine of grace within the church. And it's a famine of grace towards those who are different, non-traditional, and have often found church doors shut in their faces. The book has really helped me to understand something of the suffering or oppression of these different categories of identity. And interestingly, the author Jara is all five of these. So, in conclusion, I would ask you to ponder a few identity questions in the week ahead. Who do you say that you are? When people look at you, who do they think you are? And finally, what does your faith say about who Jesus really is? Jesus and his church have a glorious message. The grace of God is God's special and unconditional love for all people. And we must show that in our identity. Let us be obedient to that message. Thanks be to God.